Hey and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions and welcome to my, this will be my final video and sort of wrap up on the Tavis Automatic Rolex Homage, less than £20 delivered, this was my Christmas cracker watch. This is a fun watch that I think you could put in a Christmas cracker or have as a tree present for someone at Christmas, just a little gift, just as a bit of fun, really cheap but as it turns out, is actually not a bad little watch. I've done a review and an update on it so far, but uh, an interesting twist has occurred with this. If you remember in my original video, the one problem I had with this was the bezel, and it, it tapped. It was like all like loose and tappy, and the way it turned was horrible. We'll check this out. It's got nice resistance now, it's solid, it aligns really well. It's still got a lot of backlash, but it's that's fine um, because it's nice and stiff now. You know, I can shift it back, there you go, but there you go. Um, and it, it doesn't do that horrible tapping sound, so it's lost that sort of cheapness about it. Um, and basically what I did was, when you're winding this, the um, where this sort of coin edge was, it was a bit catchy. So what I've done is I flipped the, uh, took the bezel off and put this on the polisher. And just to take the rough edge off the side, you can actually see a ever so slight change in colour there. I think this is obviously, I don't know, copper or something. I'm not sure what that is, but that kind of colour's coming through there. I actually quite like the look of it now. I sort of kept going until it was sort of as I wanted it. So now it's not catchy, it's got a nice and it's much nicer to wind. Now, when I took the bezel off, I, I kind of thought there was a problem with it, but I, I just thought it's cheap, it's the way it fits. But, um, and you just get a spring that fits in a hole here, goes around here and, and it's just like halfway round and it clicks into the back of the bezel on the ratchet. Um, so I put it in back in properly as I thought it was and clicked it in and it, it's now the bezel's fine there's no tapping it's absolutely solid and it just makes the watch it just takes away that real sort of cheapy feel um, away and you know don't get me wrong I know people moan about this and oh you know it's crap and all that well it it's cheap and you know people say oh about this this is just a bit of fun perlative sonometer you know that's you know, they, that's just a bit of fun. Don't get excited about it. Um, it you know, it's just, it's just a cheapy watch, but it's stainless, um, or the majority of stainless, that isn't. But, you know, the watch is stainless. You've got a uh, solid stainless bracelet on it. It's got a, a reasonably nice clasp. I've got no issues with it. It works fine. It's not pretty, uh, anything like that. It's not high quality, but it's, it's fine. It wears all right. I've got no issues with the way it wears or performs. The case back is fairly plain and it's just a sort of a clip on case back so there's no screw down crown, it's not particularly water resistant this watch. Um, the other thing when I first got this the rotor was a, a, seemed a bit sticky but it's um, it seems to have freed up quite nicely now um, and where I've just turned it there and that's fallen down to the side that wasn't doing that initially. So that seems to have freed up a bit with use. Timekeeping, it's um, perfectly accurate. It's um, no better or worse than any of my other automatic watches. It, um, it likes to be worn and active. Um, the power reserve is probably, I don't know, I'd, I'd suspect around sort of 30 hours, um, but you know, it's no big problem because you can just hand wind it anyway. So, um, it's not a major issue. In the winder, it will it will just sit there working no problem at all. Um, the time is there. You go. Um, is what's that? A minute faster than me, amphibian. You know, and you know these haven't been synchronized or anything like that. It's, this is just set roughly. So absolutely fine when it comes to timekeeping. The uh, Cyclops is uh, really nice and works really well. Um, and, and I just think, you know, for 20 quid, I just think it's great. I'll just pop it off. I'll just quickly take me and Fibia off, pop it on the wrist. It's a big chunky watch. You know you're wearing it. Um, 
but I think it looks fine. It looks great. It's um, it, this would be a great watch as well. Um, just to if you wanted a if you was looking to buy a big hefty, expensive watch, you know, a big Omega or a Rolex or a you know a, a much more expensive homage, you might want to try wearing a big hefty watch. A to see if it suits you, and B if you, to see if you actually like wearing a big heavy chunky watch because it is a heavy watch and it is a different. Um, experience to wearing a, a you know a real lightweight slender watch so um I, you know i think it's uh just a great watch i like the bracelet on it it looks nice the sort of almost like a two-tone effect um you, you know it is it's i still keep going on about the price it's less than 20 quid um, and it, it's funny how people oh actually get upset about things like this it's like well you, i'm not saying everyone should buy one but if someone just put that in a Christmas crack and gave it to me as a fun gift, you know, it's it is just that. It's just a bit of fun. But uh, as a side effect, it actually keeps good time. It's got the nice sweep second hand. It, the movement seems pretty good. Um, and, you know, with a couple of little um, bits of attention, I've actually made it even better than it was. I've actually made it now. So, you know, I actually quite enjoy wearing it now. Whereas with that tappy tappy thing, that, that did kind of get to me a little bit. I think it's an absolutely fantastic watch. They do it in loads of different colours, blue, gold. Uh, I think they do a red one, a green one. You can pretty much get whatever colour you want in these. And, um, you know, just as a, as a little fun watch, uh, I, I think it is a great little proposition and it's well worth spending 20 quid on. There's a lot worse things you can spend 20 quid on these days. The loom actually uh, works really well. Um, I've used it through the night and been surprised to wake up at two, three o'clock in the morning and it's still loomed up quite nicely to the point where you can still see the time. The loom on the hands, unfortunately, is, is not as good as the loom on the pips, but it's, it's okay. And it's certainly better than I expected for 20 quid and better than some much more expensive watches that I've got. So there you go. Um, I've worn it a fair bit. It um, seems quite robust. Um, you know, it's going to take a little knock. And, you know, if you break it or smash it or scratch it, it's 20 quid. So there you go. That's my final wrap-up thoughts on the Tavis Automatic Perlative Sonometer. Cheers. See you soon. Bye.